Hi Libra, let's go ahead and take some deep breaths. I'm going to start us off with some affirmations. I have some cards already laid out here for you and I want to use this oracle deck that I created for myself. Let's start off with some deep breaths and welcome to your reading. Welcome to Gemini season. There is a lot going on, okay? I feel compelled to say that We should be aware that there is a war going on right now, okay? And there are children. Okay? At risk here, okay? I, sh I feel compelled to say that, and it's not okay, okay? There is there is a war going on, and, and, and it's not okay. That is not to be neglected. It is to be aware of. It is to... Okay, ask questions, to continue on asking questions, to stay curious and why it is happening, okay? It is better to ask questions and it is better to be curious than not to be curious at all, okay? I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Moving forward, here you go, Libra, self-esteem. All right, you have had to I'm, I'm hearing come up okay this is a big come up for you like you have had to fight and fight and fight and this could be like people a group of people you have had to really um stay away from okay it's, it's just not good for you you're, you're trying to save your peace here i am being i am a being of love and i release all negative energy this is this is to be shaken off to be away from away 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 i have the seven of swords here and i had already pre-shuffled before i started this okay and and the seven of swords here notice that he is walking away with possessions that may not even be his a lot has been taken a lot he is in fact a thief all right heavy emphasis on taking and stealing Seven of Swords is the Thief card, okay? This is, in fact, things that are being taken away from somebody who isn't actually theirs. It's not their possession. It's not their things. It's not their material things, okay? And it is being taken away. Meanwhile, while you have been in this, in this energy of defeat this is what i have written down here libra you have been in defeat for years you have been if that is the word okay you have been in defeat you have had to really fight for yourself away from these people who have done you injustice and have wronged you extremely okay this is what i'm getting and this is i <laughs> should have said that this is a very specific reading uh, for a few of you Libras, okay? Very specific someone is what I had written down here. And it's not for everybody. So take this as it resonates and, and leave the rest, okay? You have been one to, to make room, okay? Making room and healing from all of this injustice and healing from all of this um, extreme wrongdoing is it, it it almost feels like very evil it, it, and it was done to you for no reason whatsoever like they they have no reason to do this it is very um evil <laughs> okay and you have had to really cope with this i am strong you have really had to cope with this and really coming back to feeling more um in victory i do feel however that you are now feeling a lot of that victory now okay you have had some time to gain and regain your self-esteem you have had to regain a lot of this possessions i keep coming back to possessions that was taken from you okay you've had to, to, to go through a lot of healing. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I'm hearing X, 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 X. 
an ex had done you wrong, okay, and, and never really given you the explanation and why, okay. Collectively, I am also getting that, and not just for our Libras, but this is coming up for you guys as well, that if an ex reaches out to you, don't, um, don't be surprised if an ex comes back and reaches out. Um, this person may want to communicate with you or even explain to you is what I'm getting, like even explain to you why they had done the things that they had done to you. Okay, so don't be surprised if they like text you or call you or something and you get a message from them. Um, but I'm hearing do not, do, do not succumb to 555 on the timestamp, um, to their words, to just have their, like listen to their word and, and let them have their word. Um, allow them to express their word, but do not succumb to it. Do not give in. Um, you are a very nice, gentle soul person is what I'm getting. You're a very kind heart hearted soul, a very gentle soul. And you can very well get easily influenced by others' words, um, behaviors, and, and, and actions. And I am to remind you that you are to just let this one be and let it go. It is not for you to fix. And if they are one to reach out, okay, if they do, if they reach out to just allow them to have their word and to speak their word, but your part is to just listen, okay? Connor, the name Connor is of significance here. This is coming up, okay? This is a very specific message for somebody, but that name is very significant. That's coming up. You are to um, follow what your body is, is telling you at this time, okay? You are to also follow your spirit team, okay? If you are one who is... I'm going to say highly religious, like high, highly religious. I'm going to say that, but I'm, I'm, I'm also getting like, this could be like you having to, sp to follow your, um, your spiritual beliefs, if you will. Okay. You're, you're, you're coming to a point in your life. You're coming, you're coming into a new chapter in your life where, um, you, you are having to see things in a different light, Libra, because perhaps you have been seeing things upside down take that as it resonates and that's probably something that's been on your mind or it has popped up in your mind where you you're seeing the world for what it is do you hear the noise in the background i'm sorry you haven't actually allowed yourself to have some quiet time because there has been a lot of distractions around you um maybe even like People coming at you a certain way for no reason whatsoever, and you're not understanding why. <laughs> um, you're just wanting to have a lot more peace. The color blue is also very significant, okay? You're just wanting to have your freedom. You're just wanting to just have more peace and quiet. Thank you. Um... Mm, I'm getting like something about family, something about marriage. Some of y'all are thinking about getting married. Some of y'all are some of y'all are thinking about like there has been a lot of forgiveness. You you, ha you have been going through a lot of forgiveness. Maybe that's maybe that's been sitting in your heart. Okay, I have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is um it talks about marriage. It talks about a lot of emotions, okay? It talks about what is to come here. You know, ace is a beginning. Ace means beginning. Ace means that you are um, I'm getting like you're allowing yourself to have a new beginning, okay? This is like a, an, you're stepping into ending. You're ending something, but you're stepping into a new beginning, a new chapter. Number 10, okay? This is an end of a cycle. More with security, 
Okay, more security, more stronger foundation for you and your family. Or this could be like you wanting to create your own family. You wanting to um, step into this new chapter and starting a new life for yourself and leaving that past that was not pleasant to you and was never pleasant to you. And you're now stepping into a new chapter and ending this cycle and you're wanting to create a new family. Like you're wanting to create a family for yourself and, and you're thinking about marriage. This is also like children. You're, you're wanting to have children. Um, this full moon, this, this recent full moon in Sagittarius had really made a, a big impact in everybody's mindset and, and physic, physic, physicality, our, our physical, whatever it is that you're feeling in your body, okay? Whew. I feel like I need to slow down. It, it had heavy emphasis on marriage. It had made... significant changes in your mindset you see libra you have been seeing things upside down and perhaps you have been conditioned and brainwashed okay conditioned could come from um childhood right how you were disciplined and the beliefs that was pushed on you that you probably didn't really actually believe for yourself, right? Like, um, we grow up and through experience, we grow up and through experience, that's how you gain and cultivate new beliefs, right? You, you cultivate a, a whole new belief system for yourself as we grow older, right? But as a child, however it was in your in your childhood, however you were disciplined and however it was in the household, we were conditioned to think differently. Like we were, condi we were conditioned to think like our parents, we were conditioned to think like, you know, the priests, whatever church you went to, we were conditioned to think however everybody wanted you to think and pushed perhaps a certain type of beliefs, a, a belief system, a belief system that you probably didn't really believe in but you were forced and, and conditioned to think like so, okay? But as we grow older, Libra, as we grow older, you pick up a lot on different things. You, you, you start to, you know, your, your mind, your mind now is, is seeing things differently, okay? As an adult, you have come to know that these belief, these beliefs that was pushed on you and was forced on you actually is not yours. It, it is not yours. Your beliefs came from your experience, right? What what you have actually experienced in your lifetime. So in this recent full moon, I'm getting like in this recent full moon in Sagittarius, you have now stepped in again, stepped into this new chapter and stepped into this uh, new world that you're seeing, and. Everything you thought you knew was in fact false. <laughs> I, had, I had this written down. Everything you thought you knew was in fact false. Number 13 could be very significant for some of you. Um, the name Anna, Anna, Anna is significant. Thank you. You have been you have been seeing things upside down because you have been conditioned to think like so. But through experience, Libra, you you have in fact experienced it differently than what everyone had pushed on you, what everyone wanted you to think, and what what everyone wanted you to believe in. And so you probably. Um, in this season, or maybe even like starting Taurus season, you had to go your own way. Like you felt like you had to go your own way. You've had to, you, you know, um, do things for yourself and be it your in your own terms. 
uh, more like having to go about it independently and not depending so much on other people if that if that makes any sense at all like You have been thinking for yourself, you have been taking actions for yourself and not having to depend on anybody and rely on anybody about it. Um, you have been keeping things to yourself and maybe even quieting yourself and not sharing a whole lot to people. Um, you have been keeping this secure. Okay. You're not sharing a whole lot right now and and it's probably best that you don't that's what i'm getting here libra okay um and in doing so you're 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 finding yourself to be more at peace right because because you are now i'm getting like you are now destroying the false beliefs that everybody had forced on you and, and beliefs on you and you are now creating your own belief system through your experience. So now that you have had experienced all of that and cultivated this new belief system, you are now seeing things for what it is. Everything you thought you knew was in fact false. Everything you had experienced in the past when you were a child, everything that you knew back then, maybe even like in high school is what I'm getting like I'm getting traced it back, back in high school, like all the way back in high school, uh, what you believed then and what happened to, to you then, whatever that may be for you, um, everything you knew then isn't actually what is true to you now. Does, it, does that make sense? I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So in times when you felt like, you know, you, you had to question it, Remember what I said in the beginning when um, I said it is better to question things and to stay curious than not, have to, than not having to question things at all and not having to be curious at all. It is actually really, really good to be curious. It is actually really, really good to ask questions. So that's what you have been doing, Libra, is that you've been asking yourself a bunch of questions lately. Like, why, why is the world like this? And why am I like this? And why am I feeling this in my body? And why have had why have I had so much of this pain in my body? And why so many of those questions, right? And I'm getting like some of these some of these questions comes with a lot of aggression and a lot of rage. And and perhaps it's because it's because you have had in your lifetime had experienced a lot of injustice okay this is coming up a lot and i feel like this is coming up collectively and not just for our libras but it is coming up for our libras but a few all right that's a heavy message a few so if that is you this is for you you have had to go through a lot of injustice in your life and you're questioning yourself in this season and have been questioning yourself ever since like Perhaps maybe even like beginning of Taurus season, you have had to question yourself. Who am I? Where do I stand? What is my purpose? Who, uh, who have I become? And who was I this whole time? You are now finding yourself to be who you truly are and not the person that you thought you were. Because the person that you thought you were it was in fact false. Because you have been seeing things upside down is what I'm getting. And and this full moon, this full moon in Sagittarius, had you stay curious and ask a whole bunch of motherfucking questions like who am I? Am I doing this enough? Am I am I not doing enough? Am I actually really secured in myself? Do I actually have in fact created a, a stronger and more solid foundation for myself have i been doing the things for myself or have i been doing the things for other people do i do more for other people or do i do more for myself or both have i been doing more for other people or have i not been doing enough for myself that's a lot of questions these are things that you have been reflecting on. And these are things that you have been reflecting on. I'm making like in a bigger space. Like you've been in a bigger space and you have been pondering and reflecting to yourself. Okay. Making room. 
like you've been in a bigger space, like a, a big room. I, I'm getting like you're you're outside. Like I'm getting this image of like you you you've been outside. Like you've been outside and you've been reflecting a whole bunch of questions. You, you've just been in a lot of questions. Okay. <laughs> like when I say that you're ending this cycle, like there's, you're ending this cycle and you're stepping into this new chapter. This is you having to reflect on your past and who was in your past, who you surrounded yourself with in the past and who you are now attracting in your life. Does that make sense? Because what I'm getting here is like you're attracting a lot of good in your life right now. You're you're attracting a lot of good in your life right now. And you're even thinking about marriage. You're you're thinking about like commitment. And you never thought that you would ever think about that, is what I'm getting. Like you are confident in this. You are you are confident in this commitment. And, and, and whatever commitment this is, whether this is like career or you switching to a new career, you getting married and having children, you um, committing to a contract, um, this could be like your business, like your business is booming, your business is thriving. Um, and, and that's commitment, right? That's dedication to your business. That's committal, long term, right? Um, and, and, and you're thinking to yourself, like, I never thought that I could be this person. Like, I never thought that I could be the one to actually commit to things like this. Because in the past, <laughs> I'm hearing, like, in the past, I'm, I was a wreck. In the past, like, I wasn't, I wasn't a very good person. You were thinking to your, you're thinking to yourself now, and you're looking back on your past, and you're thinking, like, in the past, I didn't even actually think that I was that good of a person. But now you're realizing things in a whole different light. And I'm getting like you're you're feeling more in victory. Like you're feeling more like you're winning, right? You're, like you're in, in more of a, um, excuse me, like you're more in a winning mentality. Not, I'm, I'm not, I'm getting like, not that you were ever like in a losing mentality, mentality. Like you felt like you were losing. You felt like you were a loser. Not that, not that, that you were in that mentality, Excuse me, confirmation verb. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Not that you were ever in a place in your mind where you felt like you were a loser, you know, like I'm, I'm getting like you're a very smart person and you know yourself to be a very smart person, but perhaps that part of you was shunned and not a lot of people acknowledged that part of you. Not a lot of people encouraged the intelligent part of you, your intellect, right? But you know yourself to be a very intelligent person. It's just, you know, the world is weird. It's just that you were conditioned to think different and you were conditioned to think not like yourself. But you are not finding yourself in this season to be more like yourself. And a lot more of that confidence that's coming up here. And perhaps this is why your, your business is thriving. This is why your relationships is now changing and shifting. But you now coming into... Um, your soul family, if you will. <laughs> like, it's not just like your blood family, but you're finding yourself to be more in healthy relationships than you did in the past. Okay, take that as it resonates. You're, you're making a lot of effort here. You're, you're making more effort than you did before. And you're finding yourself to be more like in trust with yourself when it comes to like deciding who you're attracting in your life you have more control of that. Like before, uh, you were seeing things upside down, right? And what you knew was in fact false. But now you're finding yourself to be more in truth and seeing a lot of your truth, not the truth in people, but you're seeing a lot more of your truth and maybe feeling a bit guilty about certain things and feeling a, a bit shameful about certain things just like little details of it but not too much right um but you're more enlightened you're, you're seeing yourself to be more enlightened that's a good sign you're having to just really stay with the flow there is somebody here that you're very attracted to and mm, <laughs> Thank you. 
You adore them. That's cute. The color white is very significant. Okay, I'm getting I'm I'm getting an image of just white, just white. Um you find yourself to be you admire them. There's something about them that is so breezy to you. Like it's so it's like easy going for you. Like you see them and you're just like uh, like a fresh fresh air, like a, a breath of fresh air to you. Like they are a breath of fresh air to you. Every time you look at them, every time, every time you look at them or when you hear their voice or something like that, when you, when you look at them, you're just like, like you, you want to let it all, let it all down. And they're like a, a breath of fresh air to you. Like I'm getting a refreshment. I'm getting breeze. They make you feel, they make you feel breezy. <laughs> they make you feel really good about yourself. Um, this is somebody who is very strong, um, perhaps wanting to even have a family with them, children with them. Okay, I have the Ten of Cups here and the Queen of Cups. You see them to be very strong and resilient and you've also really seen them grow. You, you've seen them grow. And... Wow. Okay. There is a vision here. You have a vision in mind. Like you're envisioning something here. Mm. Libra, when I say there are good things happening, there are good things happening and you must believe. You must believe. You must have faith. You, you, you're, I'm getting like you must have very strong faith about this and keep that with you. Okay. Uh, number five could be very significant, and that is something that you're seeing a lot, okay? <sighs> Take this with you. Know that you are guided. Believe. Make time for yourself. And to allow your faith to be stronger. Have, have strong faith and, and hold on to that. I keep getting that, okay? Libra, I'm going to end it here. If you guys would like a personal reading, I have all my information down in the description box below. Thank you guys for being here and hanging out and tuning in. I will see you guys in the next. Take care and happy Gemini season. Um, take it easy. I love you guys. Bye.